I am so excited right now, you guys. I have been waiting so long for this moment. I can't even tell you because today we are putting up our very first glamping tent and I am so excited. So I'm gonna bring you along and do a little time lapse of us setting it up. It's gonna be some trial and error. It's our first time doing this, but I've waited a long time for this moment and I can't believe it's actually happening. Felt like it took forever because you think this kind of stuff like, oh, you just build a deck and then put the tent on and call it a day. But so much planning and preparation goes into doing all of this and it takes much longer than I think some people probably imagine. So, uh, you know, we've had this idea for years. Um, and then, you know, once you get the property and then that takes a while and then the planning and the grading and getting all the materials and putting it all together. And now, finally, the exciting moment. So, Trav and I rode on the tractor together because we were so excited. And these things are really heavy. So, we're undoing it now and putting up our very first glamping tent. Yay! Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I would All right, we're getting there. We're making some progress. It's a little difficult to do with just two people, but we're gonna make it happen. But we gotta take a little break because we gotta go pick up snow from school and then we'll come back and get this tent up. I can't even tell you. Uh, it's obviously not done yet. It hasn't like been strapped down or anything, but I want you to show you what it looks like right now. Interrupting today's video to bring you our sponsor, which is Zigu, and they are an online clothing website. They have super cute stuff, so if you were looking to refresh your closet or get something cute and fun for springtime, I'm gonna link their website down below. They also gave us a 30% off coupon code, so just use my name, Shannon, to get that 30% off. Um, I got a few things, so I'm gonna try them on for you and show you what I got. This is just like a long, it's, a, it's like a sweater dress for me because I'm so short. Oh my gosh, this is so cute and comfortable and you guys a freaking skort. <laughs> so if you're like playing sports, you don't have to worry about your dress flying up because there's shorts under, like built in shorts underneath. This is so cute. Okay, wow, their stuff's like actually way nicer than I thought it was gonna be. So obviously this doesn't match the skirt, but like, look how cute this jacket is. With the little pocket here. Got pockets, I love pockets. Gotta have the pockets. Okay, I am absolutely loving, first of all, this is gonna be a dress for me. It's like a sweater dress. I mean, maybe not for tall girls, but for girls like me. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh, I love it. 
love it. Oh my gosh, it has pockets. I just got so excited. Okay, this is like my new favorite thing. Actually, you could pair this with Uggs and you are just gonna be living your best little life. I kind of actually like them down. Um, but this is like gonna be my new favorite sweater. And it's got like a big oversized hood, which I really like. Okay, okay Zigu, coming through. Everyone needs this. <laughs> this is so comfortable. I love it. This is probably my favorite thing that I got. I kind of wish I got it in more colors. Um, okay, so that's my little try on haul from Zigu. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to check them out down below in the description. And use my code Shannon30. Right. And take you inside. It's like everything that I pictured and more. Look how huge this is. It is massive. There's even a spot to put a wood burning stove in here. So if it gets really cold, cause this is an all weather canvas tent. So um, you can be in here through all kinds of weather, rain, snow, heat. Um, so it will be nice to have that wood burning stove, although we don't have one yet, but I might get one in here. But how cool is that? Oh, I can't wait to freaking decorate this and furnish it. It's gonna be so cool. By the way, all these open. So you can get like um, fresh air. Like these are all little windows. And then you can tie these up and then this is your beautiful view. Minus the tractor, the tractor will not be there, but you like just imagine sitting on this deck right here, drinking your cup of coffee and having this peaceful, gorgeous view. Oh my gosh, stunning. Good job, buddy. Look at you go. Go storm. <laughs> Cutest little worker. Okay, let's get this tent done. Go on, Storm. Get it together. You're so cute. Yes, you are. Go, Storm. It is coming along in here. We just finished putting the bed together. I put the nightstands together, which might not look like it, but man, those took forever to put together by hand. They came in just a bunch of pieces. And then we got these really cool little um, lanterns. If I can get it to come up. There we go. Yeah, look how cool these are. They're little camping lanterns. I found them on Amazon. I'm going to link everything that I got for this tent, including the tent itself, um, in my Amazon storefront. So it's just in case you guys are doing your own glamping camp or you want to stick one of these in your backyard or something. Um, you can see where we got everything, but yeah, I think that these little things are cool because when you go to walk to the bathrooms at night, Everything will be lit up at night, but you know, just in case you want some extra light, you'll have one on your nightstand. So I think that's a cool little added touch, but I really like this bed. It looks very like rustic and westerny. So we're getting ready to put the mattress on right now. Got the mattress on. Holy moly, it's 
it's really cold out here. <laughs> but I'm very excited because we got both of our Adirondack chairs on the um, deck now. And I'm very excited because they match the deck, which I think is so cool. Um, we also finally got a rug for in here, but I'm really having a hard time picking what rug I want to put in here because I don't, people are going to be tracking in like mud and um, I don't want it to get like super dirty. And so we're trying to figure it out. Anyway, I ordered a bunch of rugs. We're going to test this one out. I want you guys' opinion. Let me know what you think. So let's go inside. Tent number one. Oh, also, we need help naming the tent. I'm going to put like a little wood sign with each tent's name. What do you guys think we should name this one? Let me know down in the comments. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you guys that I had chairs. Check it out. What do you think? Aren't those cool? They don't look like it, but come on in. They're actually, they're actually pretty comfortable. And I feel like the more people sit in them, the more they'll break in and get more comfortable. All right, let's check out this uh, rug and see if it works. We got this one from Home Depot. So, figure if it doesn't work, it'll be at least be easier to return because I feel like rugs from like Amazon are gonna be really hard to return. It's just I'm the one always filming, and so it's a lot of the times I'm filming you do everything, but like I do a lot of this stuff, but people just think Travis does everything because he doesn't film it when I do it. So I have to tell him, Travis, can you film me do doing this, please? I'm a person too. Um. I can do things too. You hear the roosters? Those aren't our roosters, those are our neighbors. So just a little disclaimer, if you do stay here, we are out in nature, like in farmland, you'll hear wild animals, coyotes, wolves, fox, you'll hear roosters, you'll hear the neighbor's dogs. So just keep that in mind. But sometimes it's like peaceful, not sometimes, most of the time it's so peaceful and quiet out here. But I just don't want people to think like it's always peaceful and quiet because that's just unrealistic. Yeah. You'll hear. It's quiet and then there, you know, it's not always just dead yeah, quiet. Yeah, sometimes even you'll, like, you'll hear the freeway, which is really far away. It was weird. Like last night, it, I, I heard like the freeway, which is like so odd. Well, the train, like, which is super popular. The train but you don't, sometimes. Yeah. yeah, it's not all the time, but like sometimes I'll hear the train, but most of the time I don't hear the freeway, but I heard the freeway last night, which I thought was kind of weird. So yeah, just in case anybody ever wants to stay here, that way you have expectations <laughs> and you know what to expect. Really, really, really hope that this rug works. Well, do you already me. like the color or not yeah, dislike? I, do. I, I like it because it's like, you know, it like is neutral, so it kind of matches everything. But I'm also not an interior designer, so I do not have my interior designer decorating this tent. I'll regret that later. <laughs> she is going to design the next one though, so I'm excited for that. She's just also designing like our whole cabin right now, so. That might be able to slide. Oh really? Well, let's open it and then maybe we'll put it sideways and then it'll stop like here But at least it will go out more here. So when people get out of the bed, like they're not stepping well, on the tarp something here. Well, we'll put another I have another rugs coming like I have more rugs coming So maybe we put this one here where like this one's not as comfortable But it's good for like when people come in tracking dirt So, so this? that would would go here maybe and then we'll put that soft one that I got over there that is probably a good idea. You want to go grab that other one? Why don't okay, you... Uh, hold on. Okay. This is 8 by 10. What's the other one you're saying? The one that's in the house right now. Can What's you... Ours? I don't remember, but can you go grab that and grab scissors? And then we'll um, put them in here and see what they look like, please. Okay. Thanks. This is what it sounds like right now. And there's Trev with the other rug. This is the rug that I really liked and wanted to put in here, but I thought it might get too dirty. Um, but if we put it closer to the um, underneath the bed, it might be fine. 
I know my husband's probably just annoyed because he wanted to return one of them instead of have to use two for the tent, but we might need two because we weren't able to get the proper well, size. Well, I don't know much about interior designing. I just don't, if you're thinking about overlapping them, which they're going to be overlapped if you use Yeah, them. so it's okay because like layering rugs is actually a thing. Is tripping a hazard also a thing? <laughs> There's my humor as a husband that I love and miss so and much. Yes, I would like the two hundred dollars back, but <laughs> um, because also yeah, but baby, listen. What about that flooring? Do you think the flooring would fit in here? Because if not, you have to think. We're either gonna floor. put that, we're either gonna put, put the, the vinyl flo plank flooring in here, the wood, which I would totally prefer to have that over rugs. But you said it was gonna be super expensive. You can do the math, the, the 10 by 12. So this or rug wait, I no, think was like 200, sorry. this rug was like 200, so it's like $400. dollars by 14. Yeah, so $400 in rugs or $400 in flooring. Honestly, I think the flooring is a way better option. But what I'm saying is mm -hmm. you have to think yeah. about the flooring. Yeah. Right. Well, so what I would, what I would do so, is I would, we would cut around like these pieces and then I think we would like maybe put like a rug over there so that you know you don't see it or doesn't like flip up or we put like little furniture or like a dresser or something we're gonna have to put like a little dresser thing table here anyway and I wanted to put like a full length mirror so people could see what they look like and then have like a little dresser thing so that they could have we put like coffee out for them their little welcome basket you know all that Hold stuff <clears throat> so find out if it's more than four hundred dollars because these chairs, by the way, I got on Amazon in case anyone cares. I'll link them in my Amazon storefront. Um, they, I think, were $126 each. And the quality is really good. The whole thing is from Amazon except for the bed frame. I think I got from Wayfair. But, like, the lights, the nightstands, um, the rug. So... Depending on what kind of flooring, uh -huh. if you're, you're thinking about like the flooring that you like for in the house, uh -huh. like that lighter kind of flooring that yeah. would be kind of this color, you're, you're talking maybe like $625, $650. To do that flooring in here? The vinyl flooring. <clears throat> what about if but we did like, like the, the cheaper flooring. version? If we did the cheaper version, would it be closer to the amount of the rugs? I don't remember what stuff they had in the cheaper version. We don't want the laminate. It has to be all vinyl, like the vinyl. Plate. Yeah, I'm just thinking because, like, if we're gonna be pet friendly, we're gonna do it cheaper. Yeah. But then the second thing is, you're still gonna put a rug on top. No, no, of the no. Vinyl I wouldn't actually. Not for like comfort or like. No, I, mean, I for longevity and people going in and out. I would maybe say no, I would do a rug here but... and then one little rug for when they get out of the bed. But other than that, like, that would be it. Maybe like you know those little sheepskin rugs for each side of the bed and then do like, you know, um, some sort of like jute rug here. Who made that purchase? She did. Travis behind the camera like, you freaking idiot. That thing's gonna get so dirty in here. <laughs> Can I read your mind or what? Sh babe, talk out too, loud. Too white. They're too, too light, too white, whatever. So, I like it. It's a nice rug. Can we it's put it in just... Now and just see what it looks like because we might be able to put this all the way up against there so that it literally just comes here and then put another layered rug for people won't get it as dirty. We should ask for like a no shoe policy. Well, I hope so. Like we should put and a sign but get dirty. But still, if you know. If it's dirty, maybe we charge like a, a cleaning fee. That sounds reasonable, right? Because this won't this shouldn't get dirty if people take their shoes off. No, it we'll shouldn't. We'll put a little shoe tray at the front. But you're allowing pets. So maybe we'll make a pet free tent for people that don't have pets and maybe have allergies. Well, that's the other thing too is, is you got to think about people with like pet allergies. Well, that's why I just like said we're gonna dog do dog hair and we're gonna do a, a pet free tent with people that allergies and then a pet tent people with pets want to bring them. Um, okay, let's put that down and then um, we'll put this on. obviously gonna need to get another rug here like something and then um or even if we don't get it yeah just like maybe like a around i think if we have rug. that t rug that we were talking about yeah which is like that 
the entry exit kind of rug mm -hmm. something that's like kind of half in and half out yeah maybe like three or four feet wide yeah and then we should def I'm make sure to sanitize all this and clean it really well and then we'll just do like a no shoe tent because you know germs bacteria i want to keep it clean and i'll do like a little shoe rack or shoe well dirt tray. and stuff yeah, yeah. Ooh, getting a little windy all right cool well we got the rug in check it out one last look of what it looks like now okay so just remember this is not done yet but I want to show you guys progress. So we have the two wooden Adirondack chairs on the deck here. We walk inside and this is what it looks like. Very clean, minimal, still going to add some things, but just wanted to show you what it looks like right now. And then if you're inside the tent and you come to sit on these chairs or just look out, this is the view.